everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it is so nice to meet you. In today's video, I'm coming at you with a review for the Nespresso Virtuo Next Coffee Maker. I did a review of this one, which is the Mr. Coffee Iced Coffee Maker a few weeks ago. So I thought I'd do a review of my Nespresso. I got this for Christmas. So I feel like I have had a good few months with the machine to really get a feel for what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and things of that nature. So before we get started, be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you have not already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and follow me over on Instagram if you have not already. I would really love your help in growing my Instagram. Let me go ahead and give you a backstory real quick on why I got an espresso. I was a Keurig user for a very long time. I got my first coffee maker around my junior year of college and I used that all throughout the rest of college and then for three years afterwards and I decided that I wanted an espresso machine. So a machine that makes espresso so that I could make myself lattes and stuff like that. So my husband is so graciously bought me this wonderful coffee maker for Christmas and it's been amazing. But um, before I give you all the things that I absolutely love about it, I wanted to tell you guys about the things that I don't love about it so I can get the negatives out of the way and then we'll back and get to the positives. So I have a list on my phone. Okay, so for my cons, I really only have three and they're all related to the pods. So my first negative is that the pods are pretty pricey. It depends on where you buy them from and what kind you're buying, but they can be anywhere from $0.70 cents to a dollar ten or dollar twenty per pod and I think that that is kind of expensive for a single shot especially if you're doing like multiple shots of espresso in a drink I just feel like you know if you want to do four shots then that just costs you four dollars if you're using single shots four shots is a lot but you get what I'm saying so that can be kind of it can be really pricey um again it depends on where you buy them from sometimes you can get them cheaper um sometimes you can get them on sale or have a deal or something but in my experience they just are really pricey and because they are so expensive, um, they're also not easily to, they're not easy to get a hold of. So I know that they sell them at Target. Um, they sell, it's like the Starbucks brand or something. Yeah, it's a Starbucks brand. And Pete's Coffee also sells them for the other Nespresso machines, but they do not sell the ones for my machine. So they only have four different kinds of coffee in the Starbucks kind at my store. And there's eight in a box and it's like a little under $10 before tax. So it is a little bit pricey per, per pod. And then I know that they sell them at Bed Bath & Beyond. I have never been to Bed Bath & Beyond and purchased them before because the Bed Bath & Beyond near me is not as close as I'd like it to be. So I just don't bother because it's also on a really busy road in my town and I just don't wanna go there. And then I also know that you can buy them on Amazon, but I've also read extremely mixed reviews of the pods on Amazon. Some people say they're not genuine. Some people say they are. I feel like with Amazon, you never really know what you're getting. At least a lot of times you don't know what you're getting. So like I said, mixed reviews and they're not any cheaper than they would be if you bought them from the Nespresso website website directly. Um, so then they also sell them on Espresso's website, which is where I personally would recommend buying them from. I, um, whenever I order from there, they have free shipping over $35. And a lot of times they do like a free gift with purchase. Um, I know for a welcome gift, I got free, two free mugs and a free sleeve of coffee. So it had 10 pods in it. Um, and I know that sometimes if you order like seven plus sleeves or whatever, or 10 plus sleeves, um, then you get a free one, but you have to be paying like 70 to hundred dollars on those pods to be able to get the free thing which in my opinion is worth it because I'm spending a lot of money there anyway. And I also buy mine in larger quantities. So like the last purchase that I made was about, uh, I think I ordered 10 sleeves. It was 10 sleeves, 100 pods, and it was $88. So it is pretty pricey and I bought them from the Nespresso website. And of course you have to wait on them to come. So you cannot wait until the last minute because it's hard to go pick up in a store if you need some for the next day or something like that. Um, I just think getting a hold of them is a lot harder than say like just if you had a regular coffee pot or if you have a Keurig, literally any store sells them in so many different quantities and from so many different brands, so many different types of coffee. And there's just not that range that there is is with Keurig as there is with Nespresso. Also, I just mentioned Keurig, but I do want to let you know that I am planning on doing a Nespresso versus Keurig review or comparison soon to help you figure out which one is better for you because some people would be better off with the Nespresso, but I personally am obsessed with my Keurig. I mean, some people would be better off with a Keurig, but I personally am obsessed with my Nespresso. So it can be different for everybody. Like, I don't think my mom would enjoy having an Nespresso, but I enjoy it, if that makes sense. And the very last con that I have is that there is not the option for 
for a reusable pod. Whenever I had my Keurig, I had a reusable pod and it was so nice because I could put my own coffee in there. And I'm gonna be really honest with you, I wasn't even caring about the environmental impact of it or the cost of it. It's just that I had coffee that I really like that comes in a bag and I wanted to use it, but I didn't have like a regular coffee maker to use it in. And now I can use my coffee that I really love in my iced coffee maker, so I don't have to worry about that. But I don't like that there's not the reusable pod just for like an everyday cup of coffee. But those are pretty much my only cons with the Nespresso in general are the pods. They're expensive, they're hard to get a hold of, and there's not a reusable one. But those are pretty much the only things that I would say are negative about this machine. So now let me go ahead and share with you the positives. So first, the machine itself. I think that it has a very sleek design. Like you can't even tell what it is over there. It's like, it's not bulky at all. I have a diagonal because it's a little long, my coffee cart over there, but I think it's a very sleek design and it's very modern looking. And it just like overall is less obtrusive than a, than like a Keurig or even just a regular coffee maker, depending on how big they are. Um, it's also very heavy duty. So it doesn't feel like it's flimsy or cheap or anything, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about it like falling off the table because, or the counter, because it, it has a hefty weight to it. It's just gonna stay in place. Um, something else I love about the body of the machine is that the water tank is really easy to get on and off and it also holds a good amount of water. I am a one cup of coffee kind of day gal. Sometimes I'll have a latte, sometimes I'll have a regular cup of coffee. So if I have a latte, oftentimes I'll run two pods, two espresso ones or whatever, and I only have to fill it up like once a week. So that's really nice. I don't have to fill it up that much and it holds a good amount of water. And then I also love that it has a, a bin to hold the pods, which is so nice. Um, and I am overlaying video clips so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but there is a bin in the back. So basically you lift, you lift up the arm. That's what I'm calling it. You lift up the arm so that you can, the top of it to put a new pod in and it like catapults the, <laughs> the old one into the bin that's like inside the machine. And I really love that it has that because it's just an easy way to like keep up with them. And the reason being is because they also have a recycling program. If you're in New York, I'm not sure if it's just New York City or if it's New York State, all of it, but you can just put them in your regular recycling and they'll get recycled. But if you don't live in New York, they still have an awesome recycling program and it's where they send you a bag, just a prepaid USP, not USPS, UPS postage bag that you fill up. You literally seal it up and you drop it up at UPS. And it's so nice because once it gets full, I can just dump it in there, put it back and keep doing that until the bag is full. So far I've only taken one. Um, so it does hold a good amount of pods. And I think I probably could have fit more in the bag. I was just ready to get rid of it. So I went ahead and took it to my UPS store. And so I really love that they have that recycling option because then you're not wasting. So the fact that there's a reuse, not a reusable pod is not a big deal because they do recycle the ones that you send them. So as long as you're sending them, then they're not going to waste and they're not ending up in a landfill, which is really, really nice, especially because a lot of single use coffee makers don't have that option. And the things are, the pods are made out of aluminum. So it's easier to recycle than plastic would be in another kind of pod. But also in the pod, it's so nice because whenever it like catapults back there, there is a piece that sits inside of this bigger piece and has holes on the bottom. So that way any water that's left in the pods gets drained out and into the bottom of the basin. And then you just pull the whole basin out. You can pour the coffee out of the bottom, like whatever is drained out of the pods. And then you can just put them in there and then they're not like super heavy with water. Um, so I think that's nice. And then the last thing about the body of the machine is that it's just genuinely so easy to use. I thought that it was gonna be a lot harder to use because I had never used one before. But um, after the initial setup, it is literally so easy. You open it up, you put the pot in, close it, and you press start. Like that's it, there's only one button. It's so easy and I love how easy it is. So now for the two things that make every single con worth it and make all the rest of it even more worth it. Like if you didn't think that it was not worth it before, let me tell you why it's worth it. Well, first of all, let me tell you the price. Um, so mine was on sale for $119, but they often go on sale at Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, um, you can buy it from Nespresso itself, um, just depending on where you want to purchase it from. Even Amazon has them. I'll link some down below for you guys if you want. But I um, I don't think it costs any more than what you would be paying for another kind of single serve coffee maker. Um, I don't think the price is outrageous. I know that the, like the K-mini, the miniature ones of the Keurigs that are like so tiny, regularly priced, they're like $89.99. So they're like $90. So this is only $30 more than that when it's on sale. And I don't think that's a bad price at all. Um, 100% worth the money. So now, the really, really good things. So first, 
Um, I love that it has different types of coffee or that you can use different types of coffee. Um, and when I say this, you can make an espresso shot, which I think is like 1.37 ounces. And then a double espresso is double that. And then a Gran Lungo is 5.07 ounces. A regular cup of coffee is 7.77 ounces. And an Alto is 14 ounces. And I love that you can make espresso and a regular cup of coffee in the same machine without having to do anything differently. It's just the pod. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you don't have an espresso, and you're looking to get one. The Nespresso pods have a barcode on the bottom of them. So let me just get one. This is what the pods look like. Um, there are obviously different sizes for different ones. So like the, Nespre the espresso ones are shorter, but this is my favorite of the regular coffee and it's Melozio. But if you can see around the edge of this, there's a barcode and the machine reads the barcode to know how much water to dispense. So this is just a regular cup of coffee and this is in Alto and it tells you how many ounces of water it's going to dispense on the top of this. So there's no no confusion about what you're getting. And like I said, the barcode is scanned whenever you turn the machine on. So it knows how much water to give you. Um, that was probably the biggest thing that made me want an espresso over just like a regular espresso machine is that I could have a normal cup of coffee, but also I can make fancy coffee drinks with espresso shots if I want to, because it makes both. And those, like that was the number one thing that made me want an espresso over just like a cheap espresso machine. And my very last thing is that it makes just a genuine, really good cup of coffee. Like when you you go, let me back up. Buying coffee always tastes better than making coffee at home, but I can tell you that I have never thought, I wish I would have bought coffee today whenever I have a cup of coffee from my Nespresso. It's literally the best coffee you could possibly make at home. Like, I do not know how it is possible for it to taste so good, but it is genuinely so good. And of course, there's different kinds of pods that you can get. Um, like I said, this one's my favorite. It's Melozio, but there's also a caramel cookie that I really like. And then there is the the double espresso scoro is my favorite for the double espresso and then there's also a couple of regular espresso ones that I like and whenever I bought my machine and I think a lot of them are this way they come with a pack of sample pods so you can taste the ones that you like so that whenever you go to buy more you know which ones you want this was one that was in my sample that I knew I love and I ended up using everything in my sample pack because I wanted to taste them all to make sure that I knew what I wanted to buy um, and then whenever I made my first purchase I bought ones that like I tried that I kind of like I bought just like one sleeve of each and then the second time I bought the ones that I really really like and that I will continue to repurchase but I it's just a really good cup of coffee like there's not much else more to say about it it just makes a genuinely good cup of coffee if you are looking for a sign to buy an espresso machine this is it buy the machine this is it this is really it so good 10 out of 10 would recommend so that's really all I have for this review if you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful please give this video a thumbs up I will link the machine in the description box down below and I I will also link and list my favorite pods down below as well. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.